Hi everyone, Bethany here. I'm so happy you decided to stop by today because I have a book haul from Paper Pie. If you have not heard the news yet, Paper Pie is the new rebranded name for Usborne Books and More. So the company changed its name. It's still selling Usborne Books, still selling Kane Miller Books, learning wrap-ups, and they added on a new toy company called Smart Toys to their collection that sells a lot of fun educational toys. Now I just got a bunch of books that I will show in an overhead viewing so you can see them up close. Paper Pie sells the best educational books in my opinion and I'm a homeschool mom. I've been homeschooling for 10 years now and I love to use these books in our homeschool. Now I am a consultant. I've been a consultant for around almost two years now and if you're interested in purchasing any of these books I do have a link down below or you can contact your well consultant I'm gonna say consultant because I'm a creature of habit but I think we have new names I think we're called brand partners I think that's what it's called but if you already are working with a consultant slash brand partner make sure you contact them and order these books okay guys I'm ready to show you all the books that I got Okay, first up, I have this cute little book called Cat and Friends. This is a board book, and it is considered a baby book, but I think these books are great for those that are learning to read because they have just the one word on the page with the picture, so it helps them recognize the words. So these have cute little pictures of animals, and I like this page the best because we have a goat and we actually have some goats and I'll put a little video right here if you're interested in seeing our goats and the cat page and we actually might be getting a cat so that is a special page for us next up we have another board book and this is the months of the year and like I said before this is a baby book but this is great for those that are learning to read the months of the year. So we have January, June, August, and my favorite, December. Next up we have a new book in the Finger Wiggly series from Usborn. And in these books, if you've never seen them before, you stick your fingers in the holes and they act as the, I guess, tentacles of the octopus. We have a monkey, elephant, and a worm one that we love, so I knew I had to get this octopus one. So, as you can see here, you could do this with somebody else. I have an assistant here that's going to help me put her fingers in. And it's a fun, interactive book that you could do with your child. Oh, look it, you're a turtle now. Yeah. And one more page. Wow, now we're a big octopus. Okay, next up, I am super excited about this. I haven't even opened it yet. It's called One, Two, Three, Four, Five. Once I Caught a Fish Alive. And this is another interactive book. Let me show you. So, in the back here, we have to take this out. It just pulls right off. And we have a fishing rod and some fish here that connect to the magnet and they all have numbers on the back. Four little fish go splish, splash, splish, playing with their friend starfish. Crab scuttles from side to side. Can you catch fish too this time? Okay, I have my little lovely assistant here who's going to catch two fish. One, two. How fun is this book? And let's see. The last page, okay, so in the last page you have all the fish out and then you're going to put them all back into 
the pond. Okay, next we have another new one, a new series, Woodland Learn to Lace book. So it comes with all these strings here. So you pick a lace and follow the numbers and see what stitches you can do. So let's see what's in here. Okay, let's take out this blue one here. And then this even shuts with a little tab. These pictures are gorgeous. So you start at the number one and you stick in the lace, pull it through, but not all the way. And then you go in and out and in and out all the way around. And this is what it looks like all completed. I think this book would make a wonderful gift. It's so pretty. Let's see a few more pages in here. And then we have the last page and then it shows you what they all look like. So you have a reference. Okay, next we have a book that we have been looking for. This one's called Hats Off. This is in the reusable sticker book collection. You may know the books all better or Time to Brush and Bear Needs Glasses. There's a whole bunch of them in this series and they come with these stickers. Let me get this off. That are a thick plastic with a sticky back that you can reuse over and over again and even when the backs get dirty and stop working you would just take some cold water and rub it right off let them dry and they're just like new okay so let's open this one up here we have all the different hats let's take these off Okay, so we have this first page where Frog loves being in the water, but he doesn't like rain on his face. Drip, drip, drip. What will keep him dry? Did you choose the cap for Frog to wear? And then you take one of the hats. Oh, and that's the one my little assistant chose. And it's a good choice. Hats off to you. And let's see another page here. Oh, we got a horse. Let's see what hat. Do we choose for the horse? Oh, a nice top hat, perfect. Next up, we have Twinkly Twinkly Nighttime. We are huge fans of the light up and music books in this home. And you turn the light on in the back on the switch. And let me turn down my lights here so you could see. And then you open the book, you can see the light here. And then every page builds. So now we have three lights in the picture. And then at the end, we have all these lights. And these are perfect for bedtime stories, for if your child is afraid of the dark, these books are wonderful. Okay, next we have an Usborne sound book. Like I said earlier, we love the sound books. This is a Things That Go sound book. So if you have anyone that loves any kind of transportation, this book would be great. So we could press the button here. Oh, and before we turn it on, we got the train. Oh, and we have a whistle button here. Wow. And this one we have a boat. And then we have this one over here. We have a water scooter. And then on the last page we have a farm. I love farm pages, love farm books. We have the tractor. And what do we have up here? We have an airplane. Okay, next up we have another 
fan favorite in our home, and that is one of the Shine the Light books. This one is called Caring for Pets. So you need a flashlight like this. And then when you open the pages, in this first one you have a family that is in a rescue shelter. And let me turn the lights down for this. And then you take your flashlight and shine the light behind and you can see images. So right there we have a cat in the shelter. And then on another page we have Oh, we have a dog here in the dog bed. Let's do one more. We have Andrea and her family at the vet. Let's see. The vet is taking care of... Oh, that poor cat. Looks like that cat has had an accident. Next up, we have another favorite in our home, and that is the Phonics readers this one's called yeti cook spaghetti this one looks like it's going to be hilarious another um thing that these books have is a qr code that you can scan and that will read the book for you and here are some pages so these are for early readers and this is all about a funny yeti who cooks spaghetti and they're always funny, silly stories. And I think we have almost all of these in our collection. Okay, next up we have the two newest books in the School of Monsters series. This is another one where we own all the books. These are also early readers. And these are funny stories about these monsters that um, go to school together and all the different lessons they learn. And as you can see here, as they start, um, they can just read the letters in blue. If they are more of an advanced reader, they could read the whole sentence. Here are some pages from this book. And then at the end, it shows you all these new words that you can learn and shows you how to use the book and even a place to learn how to illustrate the main character in the story. And then we have Gemma's big idea. And let me show you a few pages in this story here. Next up, we have another series that we love. This is the Lift the Flap. First questions and answers, why is it dark at night? So as a homeschool mom, we love these books and we love the ones that are more advanced. So I'll show you in a little bit. Um, this is their newest one that is out. So it has all these questions. So why is it dark at night? It's dark at night because no light reaches us from the sun. We're in a really big shadow. And then it has these smaller questions. Who switched off the sun? And then you open the flap and it gives you the answer. No one, it's still shining, just not on your side of the planet. It's shining on me now. So it's showing a koala. Um, so I guess they're talking about Australia. And then we have some other pages here. Why does it get dark earlier in winter? Why do I have to go to bed now? because you still need the same amount of sleep even if it doesn't get dark until late. So these are all questions that your children might ask and has all the answers for you. Okay, next up we have one of the newest body books from Usborn. We love their body books. My middle daughter loves learning about the body. So we have almost all of them. So this one's called Step Inside Science, Your Body. So what I love about the Usborn body books is you can always, they always have flaps that show you all the things in your body. I love how these books are so interactive, makes learning so much fun. So we have a heart here and we open the flaps and then here we have digestion. And then one last page, you could see the inside of his body. 
and the outside. Here is another Usborne Lift the Flap book. This one's a look inside, volcanoes and earthquakes. Again, we love these books for our homeschool. They teach us so many things that we've never heard before. So we have a volcano here. When you open it, it has some information. The clouds of poisonous gases that come out are filled with scorching ash and steam. Each page has numerous flaps with all kinds of information packed in. Earthquakes at sea. And then 30 minutes later, under sea volcanoes. Gassy, bubbly larva turns into a very light rock called pumice. This one I'm super excited for. This is called Maps for Penguins and Other Traveling Animals. This is all about animals that migrate. So we have in Antarctica, the emperor penguins, the monarch butterflies, honeybees, swallows, the gray wolf, and as you can see here there is so much more in this book. I think this is the one that I was most excited with my order and I cannot wait to read it with my girls. Okay, now here is the more advanced Lift the Flap book. This one's questions and answers about money. What is money? You open the flap. Money is anything that's accepted as payment. Money itself has very little or no value. It's what you can buy with it which makes it valuable. We have more pages. We have the history of money. We have what money is like today. Earning money. Good deals and bad deals. So that is this book and we have one more. And that is the Usborne Lift the Flap Mental Math. So this one is all about mental math. So welcome to Numberland. Mental math can help with many timings. Right on time. So this is super cute. So this kind of acts like an amusement park. So they're going through the different places in the amusement park and learning all about math. So one adult and one child, please. How much is that? And it has how many tokens it costs. And let's go. So they're on the Lazy River here. All about fact families. 11 minus 2 equals 9 times tables. And here we got a fun roller coaster. And I actually lied. That is not the last thing. This is the last thing. I almost forgot to include this in the video. This is one of the new toys from Smart Lab that we carry in our store at Paper Pie. And this is a squishy human body. Now, you may have seen this before. I actually bought this for my daughter many years ago. We actually have one. This is the second one that I have. The company actually sent this to me as a freebie. And this is all about the human body. So you could actually kind of dissect, I guess is, are the words, um, a model of the anatomy of a human body. It has the bones and all the different organs. You could remove the parts. And here's on the back as all here, all the organs. Some of you may be a little bit squeamish with this. I know I had one child that did not like this at all, but I had one that absolutely loved it. So this is an example of one of the toys that we carry, and I hope to share more pretty soon. So that is my haul from Paper Pie. I'm so excited to read all these books with my kids in the upcoming weeks. 
I was really impressed with all the new books that have just come out. And again, if you're interested in purchasing any of these books, I do have a link down in the description box. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that bell. Please follow me on Instagram and Facebook and have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.